So, during the plenaries, um, you contributed to the Lisbon Treaty debate with some suggestions on how the EU can be more representative and focus more on its citizens. Can you sort of recap on what you said there? Yeah, I think it was a really interesting debate and a really timely debate at a time when people are perhaps losing some faith in Europe and losing faith in their politicians. The argument that I was making is, first of all, political decisions need to be made closer to the people who are affected so that they actually feel they're in touch with the people who are changing their lives. So we should, instead of making a lot of legislation here in Europe, be allowing more of it to be made by national governments and even by local government where people actually know their representatives. And I'm very pleased that members of the Commission are being to talk, beginning to talk about subsidiarity in a positive way and uh, pursue that agenda. The other thing that I was saying was that local authorities represented at the Committee of the Regions actually implement something like 70% of European legislation. So they have very valuable experience of the sort of problems they have when they go about implementing it and the ways it could be improved. And because of that, I would really like to see legislation placed before the Committee of the Regions so that we would have a chance to amend it or delay it before it's actually brought out, just so that that legislation is easier to implement and easier to understand. And I think those two things together will hugely improve public confidence in the European Union and its institutions. So you think that um, the Committee of the Regions then should have greater powers in terms of um, what it's doing, in terms of the legislation process? Well, absolutely, the Committee of the Regions should have greater powers within the uh, European legisla legislative process. If you, you look in, in that room, there are people there with a huge amount of experience of local government and some really good detailed knowledge about the different conditions around Europe and how they vary from country to country. And I think we're missing a real opportunity by not making use of that experience in the legislative process, and that's why I'm asking for it.